Welcome back to an Ohio country today and with me is Ron Spencer and we're here in beautiful Herod, Ohio on Ron's family farm. Uh, Ron, tell us a little bit about where you grew up, your farm background and all those kind of things. Actually, I was raised down by Waynesfield on a farm there and uh, grew up all my life there. And when I got married, uh, I moved up here with my wife. This was her father's farm. And we've lived here since 1964. And we've done a lot of work around this place. But actually, uh, I got involved in the real estate business because I used to be a blacksmith and I used to shoe horses for Red Cook, the realtor from Wapakoneta. Red kept encouraging me to get into real estate, so I finally tried it. And here I am. I have him to thank for that. But at any rate, uh, I've always been very passionate about the farms and how they are treated and it's been my goal in the real estate business to make sure that the buyer and the seller both gets exactly what they are looking for and I love it when they love the land. Well, well Ron you know you made mention about that this was your uh, uh, father-in-law's property and it's obvious you know by all the improvements you've made here uh, about uh, your passion for your own property. Yes, we enjoy living out here. It's uh, pretty peaceful. And uh, I would never live anywhere except on the farm. Well, you know, Ron, you, you talked about, uh, you know, how you try to uh, make sure that the, that the uh, buyer and seller, you know, each get what they're looking for. Uh, and you like the way the land's treated. You know, me as a farmer, and if I'm going to buy a piece of real estate, you know, that's what we're looking for, too. And so, you know, give us, uh, you know, your thoughts on, on farmland values and farmland, you know, the passion about the, the farmland, uh, uh, keeping it with conservation environmentally, all those kind of things. Well, to me, it's very, very important to protect our land. It just uh, breaks my heart when I look at the rivers that are brown and I see all of our topsoil and nutrients going to the Gulf of Mexico. I'm very passionate about trying to preserve the land. Well, you know, talking about preserving the land, it's not only about the conservation side of it, but keeping it involved in agriculture. Yes. I guess if I had my choice, what is in farmland would stay in farmland, but I don't control all that. Well, Ron, you know, uh, you made mention about, you know, keeping an agriculture and, and uh, you know, uh, if that would be your choice. What kind of land do you see uh, available out on the market and, and what kind of folks are really looking for uh, the land? Um, you know, we always have conversation when we talk to folks about tax, you know, the CAUV assessments and all those kind of things about you know, who really owns the land and what the purpose of it is, you know? Well, there's no question about it. There's only a certain amount of land out there and there probably will never be any more. So therefore, like I said before, I love, I love to see it protected. We have all different types of buyers, but overall the return on farmland and the safety of the investment has been wonderful for owners for many, many generations. I imagine that that will continue. You know, Ron, uh, we talk about the passion for the land and, and how you want to take care of it. What are the, who are the typical uh, people that are buying this, the farmland and, and the real estate right now? About half of the buyers are farmers themselves, and the other half are all types of different investors. But when the investors come to us, we try to help them find the farm that works good in their program to help them find a good renter that will take care of the land and so that they can be proud of the investment that they've made. Well, you know, when you're talking about helping that investor purchase that real estate, you know, that kind of, you're, you're kind of trying to make your, uh, help yourself be the expert in, in matching folks up for that. So when you're doing that, can you tell us you know, where, where you're, where, what's areas of service, you know? Well, we work from Indiana 
to Marion and from Dayton to the Michigan border, so primarily Northwest Ohio. And, and Ron, when you're talking about that territory of operation, is there any particular place uh, that you see more real estate being sold, uh, i.e. Uh, Hardin County, Marion County, or is it more in uh, northwestern Ohio up Putnam, Van Wert, and Alden County area? It seems to me like it's hard to find farms for sale anywhere. So that's one reason we cover that large an area, because it is hard to find farms for sale. People just like to hang on to them and pass them down to that next generation. So it does limit the supply. When we get a farm for sale somewhere, we like to contact the neighbors first to make sure that one of those are not interested in the property because location means lot to a farmer. From then on, if we don't get the sale made, we start looking for investors and going from there. I'm sure you probably, uh, when you're talking about looking for investors, uh, anybody that would really be interested in, in uh, maybe taking a look at that option, uh, you could put them on a list? We sure do. <laughs> we have a list that, of uh, many farmers around the uh, country. And when we get something that is in their location, we make sure that they know it's for sale. Well, Ron, we've covered a lot of information about buying and selling real estate, but if somebody wanted to get more information, where can they go? They can call us at 419-228-8899, or they can look on our website, rsre.com. Ron, thanks for being with us. Thank you very much. We'll be back with more in Ohio Country Today, right after this.